Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy, yum. Hey, this is Honey Bee Cool, and welcome to the Honey Bee Cooking channel. I am at home finally, and um, I'm going to prepare today some salmon cakes and creamy cheese grits. Um, you should enjoy this video. My daughter loves it, so I'm going to get busy. Let's get started. So we have our cast iron pan on the stove. Just making sure you can see it. Okay. And we have another pot over here that's going to be for the grits. So this is all the ingredients that we will need to make salmon cakes. You see we have flour. We have eggs, we have thyme leaves, we have fresh thyme leaves, we have onions, we have the two cans of salmon, pink salmon. You can also use fresh. We have our kosher salt, we have chicken bouillon, garlic powder, basil, because I love my basil, and we have some Old Bay seasoning because it is a fish, okay? And we will use these. Um, you can use whatever spices that you like, uh, but this is what I use. I'm not going to tell you how much to put in it because it's to taste, okay? For the grits, we need our old-fashioned grits. We need some light cream, heavy cream, half and half, some kind of cream. We um, also have our cheese and our butter, okay? Um, I will be using in most... I will be using most of these seasonings in there as well, okay? We have our oil on, and we have our pot with a lid for our grits, okay? So, let's get busy. So, first we're going to take our cans and we drain them, okay? Make sure all that water fluid is out of there, and we're going to take out our salmon from the can over this plate comes right out and we're going to open it up because it does have bone in it okay and before we put it in this uh, bowl over here we're going to make sure that all that bone is out okay so there is the bone sometimes it's in more than one section and there you have it okay and we can just throw it right there in the pan and the little bones that are here um, are soft so they'll be able to break up and you can eat them mmm tasty and this is we want to keep all the salmon and just take out that it's kind of hard and this piece doesn't have any more but as you can see this piece does so we're just going to clear that out. You can take as many as the little bones out as you can get to just by scraping a little bit. And we make sure it's nothing in between there and there you have it. Then we'll do the other can. We drain it. I did drain them already uh, but as you can see there's still some, something that comes out. This one um, slid out a little better than the last one. And here you have some right here. Just want to make sure it's not in there. Oh, we have more over here because it's hard. You don't want nobody chomping on that. Okay, and we see we have more over here. So let me just take that out. Then you get a nice fork and you mash all this up. And you don't have to put the juice in it, but you do want all that salmon. Okay. And we take this to the trash, of course. Nice big fork. And you just mash it up. Just 
just like you were making tuna. There's no order in which you need to add things. But I will say, I would add the seasoning first, only because you want to be able to taste it to see if it's enough seasoning for you. Because uh, once you add the eggs, you shouldn't be tasting it. Unless you want salmonella poisoning. Uh, but, you know, it's up to you. I've done it and nothing's happened. So I'm going to put a nice helping of Obey. And then I'm going to come with my basil flakes. Because we love us some basil. Ooh, not that many. But we are going to sprinkle liberally. It gives it a nice flavor. There we go. And we come and get our garlic. Always need a lot of garlic. Garlic is good for you. Mm -hmm. Nice, healthy. And we'll take our chicken bouillon and get a spoon. And we will put a little bit of that in there. Almost a, I put almost a full table. Uh, this is kind of big teaspoon. Okay. Then we add our, well, we can taste it first. Got my nails done yesterday. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> oh, you didn't see them? Now you do. Okay. Yes. You can also stick your hand in here and do that as well. Okay, because your hands are going to be all in this anyway. Okay, it's like making uh, burgers. Except for this salmon croquettes. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to give a little taste. You can taste the seasoning. It's good. We're going to add um, some onions. And I like a lot of onions in mine. Some people don't. Some people don't like onions at all. But we'll be using all of this. Let's put it all in there. Yes. You can put some red peppers in here as well if you like. Um, whatever you like. Okay, and I can look at this already. It was a lot in these cans, and it usually is. Um, I'm usually making one can, but today it's two. Um, I'll probably get another egg and put that in here as well. Okay, so it'll be three eggs for three for two cans. Mm -hmm. And also, what I do is I put a little oil in it little oil so it's not dry because this can be dry I used um about a little quarter cup of oil I used um bread crumbs one time and whoo salmon cakes had good flavor but they were dry as heck Okay, we're going to put a little, well, we're going to add another egg. Yep, three eggs. <clears throat> now, who wants to taste this like this? Not me. nice and mixed and we're going to add some flour to this just to help with it you know forming the patties stir that in this way it stick 
you know, together. And there you have it. And you're going to take some. And make a patty. And your oil should be nice and hot now. We're going to turn up the heat on the oil. And you just make a nice little patty. Like so. You're going to sprinkle flour on both sides of it. Pat it out. Maybe a little more flour. Pat it out. I'm making a mess, but it's okay. And into the pan it goes. And the pan was not hot enough because I took down the heat. But it's okay. And just a habit I have, I wash my hand between each because I don't like that gummy feeling. We're going to put on our water and we're going to put in our cream in a sec. Okay, so... nice and brown mm. I'll make another one Flour on the other side. Shake off the excess. But make sure it's nice and covered. And into the pan it goes. Now it's frying. And I wash my hands. I know it's retarded. But that's what I do. Okay. On to the next. And we'll repeat this until we're done. We're done. You get a, a napkin. You let them drain just like you would do, um, you know, frying chicken or fish or whatever. Um, when you're frying, you let that oil drain off of it on a napkin. And then they're nice and crispy and you're good. Okay. Into the pan. It goes. We're gonna do one more. Just like a hamburger. Now we flour it up. So while these are going, I have my water for my grits on. I'm going to 
let you see that. The water for the grits are on. To that water, we're going to add um, our seasoning, which will be this, because we don't want just plain, plain water. So a level teaspoon. And that's three cups of, of um, water. And to that I'm going to add one cup of cream. I'm going to add a half a stick of butter. And then I'm going to let that go. Oh, it's always messes in the kitchen, but fear not. I got it under control. I got a mop. <laughs> okay, so when I took the top off, it spilled from here. I pulled it out and it spilled. That's okay. We'll get it up. Hot napkins, and I got a mop. And we need to check. On our one. When it's done, when the salmon cake is done, and they're almost done, well, some of them need to be flipped, so I will flip them when they're nice and brown. And when they're ready to be taken out, this is what they look like. Good, right? And so now we have one cup of milk. We'll put that in. That's cream, actually. We will do our half a stick of butter or more. Butter. Give it a nice little stir. And we'll taste it to see if it's seasoned appropriately. Okay. okay. So now you can see both. Mm -hmm. When that comes to the bowl, a bowl, we'll add one cup of grits in there, and it should probably cook for about 15, 20 minutes, because those are old-fashioned, maybe a little longer. And as you can see, this milk is starting to boil up, so we're going to turn it down. We're going to put a spoon in it and give it a nice stir. And we're ready to add our grits. And this is one cup of grits. I'm going to add it and we're going to stir it quickly so it all dissolves dissolve so you don't have lumps. And when it becomes, when it, when it comes to a ball again, we will cover it. All goodness is in there. Okay. You see, ready to come out. That one's not so ready to flip yet. It can use another minute or so. But that one is. And this one is. And now we'll use our wooden spoon because you have to stir these things or else they will get lumpy. And won't be done. So now we 
going to just let it sit and cover it. to this. Some cheese to that and we should be okay. So we're going to add our cheese. Oh, first I'm going to get some cheese. I'm going to flip this. Okay, we use a Kobe mix of cheese and we're just going to add it to it and stir. Maybe add a little bit of cream because the cheese is now thickening it up even more. So it depends on how you like it. And we can cut these off. And they're nice. Okay, I'm going to cut these off. If you want them, I like mines like this, nice and creamy. If you want them um, looser, you can add uh, some warm water or you can add um, some more cream. me a plate so y'all can see what we got here. So this is Honey Be Cool, and here you have salmon croquettes or salmon cakes with grits, and let's taste. It's good. Nice and crispy. Mm. Good flavor. Mm. Mm. 
Mmm. Creamy grits. Crunchy salmon cooked. What more can you ask for? Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. And if you like what you see here, share. Signing off, this is Honey Be Cool from Honey Be Cooking.